I think there are two words to describe what we saw here today, somber and patriotic. The scene has certainly died down from what it was when I got here. Step out of the way and show you what we're seeing here. You can still see a very large response here. Your crews have actually left after spending several hours getting this building stabilized to get Grand Avenue reopened. You can see traffic now moving through Grand Avenue and this building is nothing more than a pile of rubble or take a look behind me here at this power line that is just busted in half hanging here. We're on Buffalo Heart Road. Actually like going to just step out of the way as this group makes its way past us carrying um, these flags that they are putting out in honor of Trooper Hannigan. You can see this happening right now. According to witnesses here, at least one person was shot. I'm going to step out of the way. You can see the scene behind me today. We are honoring Trooper Todd Hannigan. Good afternoon and thanks for being with us. We are live in Mount Zion at Illinois 121 in Main Street. Mount Zion dressed itself in red, white and blue. He put everyone else before him and he wanted everyone to smile. Blue in honor of a fallen state trooper, his wife and two sons. Trooper Todd Hannigan, a husband and father who always put others first. He would help anyone. He was he made me a better man to have known him. He made us all better people and we're all lost without him. Grief and broken hearts on display as silence sets the tone. The community lining the streets, American flags flying, a symbol of respect for a man who died in the line of duty. He's the, the good of what you should see in police and volunteers and humans. Friends of Trooper Hannigan, those like Dickie Trump, standing tall for a man who, despite his strong build, was known simply as happy. As each car passes this crowd, memories of Hannigan pass too. Memories like Trooper Hannigan's time coaching youth sports. Todd would say many times, I don't know what I'm doing, uh, you know, I, but he'd stand out there and we fix diamonds and he, he would just be the muscle or do whatever was asked because he wanted to give kids the opportunities. Those who gathered here on this somber day did so with a purpose. Todd would have been here for any of us. A moment of reflection for a fallen hero who brought a community together. We need to recognize people like him who just care about other people. A trooper following the road home one last time. <laughs> trooper Todd Hennigan was 45 years old. He was a 20 year veteran of the Illinois State Police. Hannigan is survived by his wife, his two sons, and his parents, including his father, a retired state trooper. Live in the studio tonight, Chris Carter, WAND News. <laughs> Neighbors on edge as a Decatur street is shut down Wednesday afternoon as officers investigate a shooting. You would not expect this to happen here. People like Julia Wrighton are concerned by the crime. It's eye opening. I mean, it's it's proof that this can happen anywhere to anyone at any time. Just before 345, Decatur police say a 22 year old woman was shot inside a van near Pine and Williams. We heard three pops that come out and we saw three males run away. Neighbors like Jack, whose identity we are concealing for his safety, heard the shots ring out. He watched as paramedics tended to the victim. Now he's worried about his neighborhood. If one of the one of those bullets missed, it could have hit a kid or could have went into a house and hit an innocent victim. Investigators focused their attention on the victim's van. The back window was shot out. The scene was busy for hours as investigators looked for evidence as people who call this normally quiet neighborhood hope for peace. We just got to love each other, man. This is sad. This is so sad. These things shouldn't be happening. Now, Decatur police say the victim was taken to the hospital. She has non-life-threatening injuries. Sean, police are not providing us with any other details. Well, Don, we've been here for about 10 minutes, and I can tell you that this scene has certainly died down from what it was when I got here. Step out of the way and show you what we're seeing here. You can still see a very large response here. This building is at the corner of East Madison and North 9th Street. It is listed as the Springfield Adult Rehabilitation Center. We know that when fire crews arrived, there was large smoke and flames coming from the building. Crews had to bring in additional engine companies for manpower to put this fire out. We do know the fire is out right now. It is unclear if there was anyone inside of the building, but fire crews are inside checking the building to make sure that there was no one hurt in this fire or inside. Right now, the Division Fire Safety is here. They will be investigating the cause of this fire. East Madison Street and downtown Springfield 
shut down right now for this fire response. But again, this fire is out. We don't know about it, any injuries or a cause right now, but that cause is under investigation by the Fire Safety Division. We will, of course, bring you updates as soon as we get them here in this newscast and online at WANDTV.com. For now, we are live in Springfield. Chris Carter, WAND News.